Just as Christ has affection for the congregation, so too does the governing body. We love you. The governing body prays constantly for the worldwide brotherhood. So obedience is necessary for loyalty. But another way is to support the work of Jehovah's organization. How? Well, the small group of anointed ones can't possibly complete the preaching work on their own. That's where we need your support. We need your help in this preaching activity. Then there's also the constructing of kingdom halls, assembly halls, places of worship, branch facilities used in Jehovah's service, and also donating to the worldwide work. Here's an experience from Mexico. A little girl we'll call Laura, age six, lives in Mexico. Sadly, she suffers from epilepsy. And after one particularly difficult hospital visit, her older sister gave her a piggy bank as a gift. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Laura received money from her family to use for school or to buy treats. What did she do with the money? She decided to save the money in her piggy bank, depositing it there. Well, when in-person meetings resumed, Laura brought her piggy bank to the kingdom hall. What did she do with it? After the meeting, she broke it open, counted the money she saved, and it totaled 350 pesos, or about 17 United States dollars. She contributed the entire amount, giving half to support the local congregation and the other half to the worldwide work. Laura explained, I wanted to donate my savings for our brothers to use and to send more brothers to preach in foreign lands. Think about it. All of this was going through the mind of a six-year-old. She also asked for another piggy bank, of course, so that she could start saving once again. But that's not all. She's trying to learn to read and write so that she personally can share the good news with others. She can tell others about her loving God, Jehovah. By her actions, that little girl is essentially gathering at Jesus' right hand among the sheep. She's precious to Jehovah. She's precious to Jesus. She's precious to each one of us here in attendance. What? A creep. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gage Flegel. You may be a newly appointed governing body member, but you're not endearing yourself to me at this point. I mean, fresh out of the gates, you're showing the mindset that it takes to get to the highest echelon of the Jehovah's Witness organization. You need to be the type of soulless creep who celebrates an, a six-year-old epileptic girl giving all of her money to the organization. You have to be the sort of person who thinks that's fantastic. And as though Laura, this epileptic girl, came up with this idea all by herself, I don't think it was quite that simple. That the governing body will continue to everything in our power to provide the needed relief aid to our dear brothers in these affected areas. We love you very much and thank you for tuning in for this update. I wish we this could help. Me too. Oh, I have an idea. Sweetie, can I give this to our brothers affected by the hurricane? Of course you can. We'll put it in the contribution box on Sunday. I don't know, maybe I'm being overly cynical, but it feels like that Caleb and Sophia cartoon might have played at least some role in Laura's decision to empty her piggy bank, or sorry, break her piggy bank, 
to get at $17 and the piggy bank was a gift. <laughs> so straight away, children are being taught to have a very unhealthy view of gifts in relation to the urgency of giving money to the organisation. And then, of course, we have another Caleb and Sophia cartoon. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it, where Laura got her idea from? She's been subjected to targeted child propaganda, coercing children to turn over any money that they might have that's been given to them for their needs to the organisation. So kids have to go without ice cream. They have to go without... What was it? Laura was given money for her school and for treats. So she then has less money for when she goes back to school. She has less money for treats. This is supposed to be a positive. This is something that the organisation is proud of. Gage Flegel is stood on the stage trumpeting this story as something that Jehovah's Witness parents and their children should be trying to copy in their lives, even if they have epilepsy. I'm sorry, this guy, Gage Flegel, he may be newly appointed to the governing body, and I'm sure he's bringing a lot of confidence to that role. But immediately, right out of the gates, I am getting a very bad feeling about this guy's moral compass. Thank you. 